welcome back to another episode of Cowboy Bebop. This is episode 8, Walt for Venus. So it looks like Faye has kind of joined in. I think her name's Faye, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Fucking slutty-ass girl with purple hair. There, we're gonna... We're, that's her nickname now. We're That's... It's a long nickname. But anyway, regardless, has kind of joined up with the team. They're kind of going about doing their thing. And... I guess she... I don't, I don't know what her... Like motives are, but I, I have a feeling her motives are more of the, yeah, I'm kind of just using them to get jobs at this point thing. So I guess I will find out. Of course, she's very cruel to Ayn. It makes me very sad because Ayn is adorable. So let's go ahead and get into this episode right now. Oh, it's like a Tom and Jerry ripoff. Hey! Oh shit! They all... Oh man! Are they gonna try to take over that ship? Oh, come on, you gotta ruin Tom and Jerry fucking ripoff. Yeah, they're gonna hold hostages and whatnot. Oh, and fucking spikes on there. Oh my god, dude just fucking playing it off. Oh shit, he just got some bounties. Come on, give the girl some, like, you know, there you go. Yeah, give her a little bit. Oh my god, she's that type of person. Barking up the wrong tree, it seems like. <coughs> that was rude, bro. Tricked. That's okay. That is so cool and interesting. So each planet has certain amounts of like oxygen to helium ratio, and so they just have a little bit more helium in the air that makes your voice higher. But wouldn't that make you lightheaded after a while? Just because I know if people that do suck a lot of helium down to get the voice, they talk about getting lightheaded. I was never able to do it, so I never did it as a kid. But <clears throat> they say that you get lightheaded. Bro, I think you're going to get hurt more than he is. So why are they at? What's in the bag? <clears throat> Oh, 
I mean, it won't be too bad. You already have what they want. It just casually has it. <clears throat> oh my god, so it's like a medicine herb thing. And they're after him because he took what they took the, took their uh, score basically. Doesn't she have a bounty too? That's the most awkward um, commercial break screen I've ever seen. It's just silence with black and white cows. They're holding like a mini forge in there, but they're like good people. Oh shit, they're gonna go after his sister. Well then. Again, this world does not judge. I like it. Dude, dude was playing fucking light, uh, Star Wars lightsabers in the beds. He's got his back up now. This is just sad, and he's only been introduced to this one episode. This is just sad. Oh, this is just sad. Oh, like, I'm depressed. See you, Space Cowboys. All right, that's into that. This is each of these episodes has a really dark theme at the end of them. It's it's nice. This one was very dark but wholesome at the same time, and I like it. 
I'm, I'm starting to really like and see why people like it. I wouldn't still call it my number one anime or the anime that beats all anime like that one guy at the fucking convention, but so far it's pretty nice. So, yeah, well, that's going to be in this video right here. If you're liking the video, slash that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next.